Before the video begins, I just want to say that on June 4th, Dark Mayor will be released as well as the quest Sins of the Father, and me doing that quest will be streamed on Twitch. The link to that will be at the top of the description. And also, if you want to join my Discord or my friend chat, all of that information will be at the top of the description as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Alone, and welcome to another Zero to Hero. I am currently on 599 tasks, so let's see what number 600 is going to be. Calphites and Calphite Cave, that's pretty easy. There we go, 450 points, very nice. 500, pretty much halfway to another Slayer Helmet cosmetic, but uh, probably going to use most of these points to skip to interesting tasks. Because I've been so extremely lucky at Criara completing the log at 186 KC, I really can't turn a task like this down. This will be the last Criara kill for the assignment, so no Armadol drops this time. I still have 20kc, but I don't really feel like uh, going all the way back to get more ecumenical keys. I did this in three trips, aka three keys. So, uh, just no Arma item this time. Sins of the Father is a quest that will come out June the 4th, which is from now on about two weeks, and that will unlock the Dark Mayor area, which I'm not sure what it will include yet, but I know it will have an agility course and probably a lot of interesting stuff. So I'm going to spend this video to get ready for it and probably do a couple of other things as well. But the first things I need to do is Darkness of Hallowale, and I'm pretty sure... I have already started it, there we go. So I do have all the requirements for this, so let's just do that uh, completed now. Not too bad at all, the darkness of Halloween completed for a lot of experience actually. I think that's an agility level as well, let's see, 71 agility. And I will actually put all these experienced homes in agility, I think it's 3 for 2000 experience every single time, so 6000 more agility experience. I actually didn't know this, but uh, A Taste of Hope is a new quest that came out with the Theater of Blood, so it's going to be pretty interesting to do this. I know there's a boss fight in this quest, and I'm not sure how hard it is, but as someone who is pretty much maxed, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Oh man, that is uh, one beautiful woman right there, that's what you want to look for. Here we go, this uh, abomination which is very laggy animation-wise, look at this, if it's actually going to do any animations right now, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I have to do protect from missiles, and then I just stay on range, and I pretty much attack it. I'm not sure if it's actually going to move anything, but uh, you're supposed to uh, just mage this uh, while using protect from range. Not really hitting anything, though. Maybe it's uh, pretty tanky. And I brought restores as well, because uh, the stats do get drained sometimes. But yeah, it seems like a very, very easy boss. And here's the end of the boss fight, if we can actually get a hit in, 3 HP, very easy boss fight, nothing really hard to do at all. But um, yeah, it is an instant area, so if I would have died, that would have been terrible, you would have lost pretty much uh, all the things that you have on you that you would lose if you die. And you can't get them back, so nice to have that done at least. After this cutscene, the quest is actually done. The two quests that I had to do, Darkness of Hallowail and the A Taste of Hope quest, were actually quite a lot easier than I anticipated. I mean, the guides for them was like 30 minutes, so pretty much the quest was 30 minutes. But um, yeah, two quests in one hour, which is all the things that I had to do to actually be able to do Sins of the Father. So let's click this one, one now. And I have every single requirement because I already had all the skills. And uh, I'm not actually sure how much experience this is, but I will put that in agility. 2.5k, is it 2.5k three times, just like the other quest? I think the other one was 2k though, so yeah. 1,500 more agility experience than the other quest, which is very nice. 24% to 72 already. But yeah, now I'm ready to do the Sins of the Father quest whenever that comes out. Now that I'm questing anyways, I might as well try to knock out some requirements for Dragon Slayer 2 that I want to complete in the near future, because I do have a Vorkath left to kill of the bosses I want to kill, and I need to do quite a lot of questing for that. The only requirement skill-wise though is one level in crafting, so really not a big deal at all. But um, the Ghost Ahoy quest is very easy, A Tale of Two Cats probably very easy, but for Dream Mentor I do need to do Lunar Diplomacy as well if I go here. But uh, yeah, those two, Dream Mentor and Lunar Diplomacy, are the bigger quests. There we have it. Ghost Ahoy is now completed for two quest points. The Ectophile, which is the big thing. This will be very, very useful for a lot of things. 
that I can't even think of right now, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uses for it. It's a great teleport. Such an unfortunate raid I'm in right now. I've died twice, and what really sucks is that I actually got to the last head phase without even dying once in the entire raid doing the 4-1 melee method with the Elder Maul. But then on the last phase, I just got completely destroyed, and I went in and I got comboed again for another death, so... Yeah, that is pretty sad, but I'm happy about at least, oh yeah, I need a spade, that uh, I can do the 4-1 method with the Elder Maul decently at least, even on the first try. As I said, very unfortunate raid, but, uh, oh, Torn Prayer Scroll and Pure Essence, that has to be like a 5k reward. Okay, 60k, the Torn Prayer Scroll is better than I thought, but... Uh, yeah, that actually has me pretty motivated though because uh, the Elder Maul tactic was working really well, actually way better than I expected and it is easier than the Dragon Hunter Lance running, which is a good thing. Because I'm now doing the Elder Maul method, I'm going to sell my Dragon Hunter Lance for now at least and it actually went up in price since I bought it and it's selling for the medium price even, so maybe even more. I bought this for 94.9 mil I'm pretty sure and 98.3 mil nice like 4 million profit right there and with the money i'm going to buy a dragon warhammer and maybe oh my god that has went up in price since the bots on this actually got deleted holy okay that is insane 63 mil it used to be 50 million that is insane but 35 million not sure what i'm going to buy with that but um, maybe i'll just save it for now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell my Armadil chain skirt that I got from Armadil in my last video. And if I collect that money, I will now have enough money to buy an Avernic Defender Hilt, which is actually very expensive. And all this money will never ever be seen again. Because when you apply this to your Dragon Defender, which is of course, an extremely, extremely useful item, regardless of what happens, I will use this a lot in the future. You will never be able to get this back again. And yes, I am very certain of this decision. That is now the Avernic Defender completed. That is amazing. So on my first attempt with the Elder Maul, running with no deaths, aka I only have one inventory of Bruce, this is how far I got. I got both hands to one HP pretty much, but then I had no supplies left, so I need like three brews, I think, for the uh, head phase. Something like that I usually use. So I'm like three brews of being able to do a no death ulm, which is pretty nice. One of the bosses I still haven't killed yet, which is a very easy boss that I just want to take off the list, is the giant mole. But to make it a bit easier, you can complete the hard diary, which unlocks so that you don't have to bring a light source in there, as well as an arrow over the boss when wherever the boss goes, pretty much. So uh, it will make the whole boss like 10 times easier. There's quite a lot of things that I have to do, but it uh, shouldn't be too bad. Look at this painting. I've done rat catchers before, but I've never noticed this. If you examine it, it says a really bad portrait of the king. Yeah, it's not wrong. Look at that face, man. Completed the medium dire now, so only the hard left. And for this, I had to complete pretty much the entire rat catchers quest, which is a real pain quest to do. And uh, now that I'm so close to being done with it, I might as well complete it. There you go, that's uh, Rat Catchers completed. 4.5k thieving experience and 2 quest points. There's one big grind in the Falador Hard Diary, and that is the full Prospector set. I still need to do Grim Tales also, and I need 56 runecrafting. But those are not too bad, I just have to get 4 runecrafting levels and do the quest. I uh, probably have all the requirements for it, I haven't checked, but I think it's a pretty easy quest. But the big one is, I have to wear full Prospector, which, which costs 180 gold nuggets, and I have 35 now, so this will be quite a long grind, but uh, I will be back when I have completed it. Can we get the last piece of the Prospector set? I only need one nugget. Oh, two! Perfect! Okay, so I can now buy the last Prospector piece, and... That took a long time, I'm not gonna lie, that took a very- Oh, I have to pin. There we go, I have my 60 nuggets, but yeah, that took a very long time. I'm going to buy the last piece here, and I started with 71 mining, and I ended up with, after all these, 75 with uh, Motherload Mine. It was pretty AFK, but very time-consuming. The money, of course, is not very good, but we have the full set. 
So I just wanted to uh, put this into the video because I was like 99% sure this was a scam or uh, like a lure because this ultimate uh, Iron Man was dropping all this stuff and I was like yeah there's why would he not pick it up on his alt account that's just standing outside the wilderness like I'm not a threat or anything so uh, of course it is a lore and I just wanted to show it so I just went in and died I had nothing on me that I would lose the PK -er that killed me got my fire tiara that was literally it and I just ran back and picked up the orange juice as well that I need for uh for runecraft boosting for the uh, uh, hard diary step that I need to do for the Falador one. But uh, yeah, don't get tricked by that, just wanted to put it in here. If you see something like that, don't get baited. I didn't want to level all the way from 52 to 56 runecrafting, so I just went with a boost. And you need to make a full inventory of uh, runes, I need to drop that and pick up rune essence. And that's the hard diary step completed with only 52 runecrafting. So I have two steps left on the diary, kill the giant mole and then I have to do grim tails to equip a dwarven, dwarven helmet. But the thing is, uh, actually it's only the arrow that you get, you don't actually get this fireplace, you need to do uh, f making friends with my arm first. And I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to always bring a bullseye lantern, it's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I have to kill the mole one time without the arrow, which shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there we go, that's the first mole kill, and these are not noted yet, because I need the hard diary for that. But uh, I actually want to see what one kill is actually worth. Let's see, let's put all this in. Wait, they're actually 6.6k each. That's not bad, 18k for the f one mole kill. And now Grim Tales is done, I'm at 215 quest points, there can't be that many quests left I have to do before I have quest cape, but uh, that's a lot of experience in different skills, agility, thieving, those are the better ones I would say, and farming is pretty good as well, but uh, I needed to do this for the last step of the diary, which is uh, all the way down here, equip a dwarven helmet within the dwarven mines, so uh, let's do that right now. Here we go, last step about to be done. Boom, and now I just have to go and get the uh, hard reward. I must have blanked out completely when I did the quests in the beginning of the video. I was putting all the experience on agility because I'm so used to it from RS3 way back in the day. It's like every time I get these things, I'm like, oh, agility, that's easy. But uh, you don't want to do that. You want to do it on runecrafting. So in the future, when I get experience books, this is a skill I will always put it on. 15,000 experience. That's, I'm almost 40, 20, not 20, 54 from that. That's very, very nice. Awesome experience. But now I can actually do a giant mole efficiently. So this arrow right here is why I wanted to do the diaries. When the boss actually digs down, it uh, will show the arrow wherever it goes on the map where I have to go. 84, that's a massive hit. I'm actually very close to 99 strength as well, so maybe on uh, the grind of killing some giant mole, I will actually achieve that. Will I be able to kill this? Is it time-based? I'm going to assume it's time-based when it actually digs down. Well, that was easy. And also these are now noted. So uh, that's probably quite a lot of money actually. They were like 6... Whoa, 20k drop right there. Just finished 100 kills on this boss, which was very fast. It's a very easy boss. And the loot is actually pretty good. 2.4 mil in 100 kills for Giant Mole is 24k per kill, which is surprisingly good for this old boss. Anytime I can get 99 strength now, but the defense of the mole is pretty high, so maybe I should uh, de Warhammer spec. Of course, zero. But uh, 256 experience until another 99, which is really nice. It's going to be my third 99, and I actually got 99 ranged in my last video, I think. So, yeah, getting quite a lot of 99s, but look at this defense of the mole. There we go, 99 strength, unfortunately not a combat level, but very close to it, 121. But yeah, I'll get the strength cape a bit later in the video. I actually wanted to do a one hour experiment, and it's like 20 seconds left, so I'll just stop it now. I probably won't be able to get a kill in 20 seconds. I wanted to see how much money the mole was actually per hour with this uh, gear setup that I have. My current KC is 176, and before this one hour I had a total loot of 2.8 million. So let's see how much money I made in 59 minutes and 37 seconds. P to 4.2 million? That's like 1.5 mil in one hour from the giant mole. That is extremely good for such an easy boss to do. And uh, the pet is one in 3,000. So actually, if you do 3,000 kills, 
you probably make like close to 50 million from this boss, I would, uh, I would assume. It's actually, wait, it's actually way more than that. That's insane, that's quite good profit if you're going for this pet. By the way, uh, it's 71 million that you make from 3000 kills, which is pretty insane. I think 200 kill count is a good place to stop for the giant mole right now. I definitely do want to kill this boss more in the future. I did quite enjoy doing it. It's pretty fast and the money, as you saw in the last clip, is not that bad. So yeah, definitely I will uh, probably hunt this pet in the fairly near future. And uh, let's go and get that 99 strength cape. Let's get the strength skill cape for 99k. Sure. There we go, looking good as always. I don't really like the emote for this skill cape, it's pretty boring I think, just uh, weightlifting. But I, I would say most of the skill cape emotes are not that great, but uh, yeah. Pretty nice cape regardless, I think the green color with the red is pretty nice, and another 99 down is always awesome. Bossing wise this video we didn't make too much progress but we did actually add a bit of KC to Criara and we also added of course the 200 mole kill count on the first slider. And on the second one there really isn't anything except two kill counts to the chambers of Zarek which I'm slowly now and then working towards getting that uh, deathless run on. But that will do it for this video, I do hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content. I'm really hyped about the Dark May release, and I probably will be making content on it, or for sure, I will be making content on it. And uh, also the stream, June 4th, will be my first Twitch stream, and I hope that goes well, and I hope you guys will uh, show up to watch the content but um, yeah if you want to watch more of my content click any of the videos on the screen right now and uh, please uh, god can you go out please dismiss but yeah hope you guys did enjoy it as I said and I'll see you in the next one guys take care